Nagkasakit o naaksidente ka sa work? Oh no! Buti na lang, andyan ang ECC. Ang ECC o Employees Compensation Commission ay ang government agency na nagpapatupad ng ECP o Employees Compensation Program. Ito ay karagdagang benefits in case ikaw ay magkasakit o maaksidente dahil sa work. Pero kahit may ECC, laging tatandaan na safety should still be your top priority. Kailan nga ba maaaring mag-file at mag-claim ng ECP benefits? Number 1. Kung ikaw ay naaksidente sa workplace. Number 2. Kung ikaw ay naaksidente habang nagtatrabaho. Number 3. Kung ikaw ay naaksidente kahit wala ka sa workplace dahil sa utos ng boss mo. Number 4. Kung ikaw ay naaksidente papunta o pauwi galing trabaho. Pwede ka mag-claim ng ECP benefits kung walang diversion sa ruta mo papunta o pauwi. Dapat ay bahay work o work bahay lang. Number 5. Pwede ka rin mag-claim ng ECP benefits kung ikaw ay naaksidente habang sakay ng company vehicle. Number 6. Counted pa rin kung ikaw ay naaksidente sa activities ng company, halimbawa sa mga company team building at sports fest. At last but not the least, kung ikaw ay nakaranas ng asot habang ginagampanan mo ang trabaho mo. Kapag ikaw naman ay nagkasakit dahil sa trabaho, pwede kang mag-claim ng ECP benefits kung ang conditions of compensability ay nasatisfied mo base sa listahan ng occupational and work-related diseases. Pag ang sakit mo ay di kasama sa listahan, pwede pa rin ito maging compensable sa ilalim ng tinatawag natin na increased risk theory. Una, kung ang working conditions ay may health risk na nagiging sanhi ng sakit. Pangalawa, kung ang sakit ay nakuha mo dahil expose ka sa mga health risks na ito. At pangatlo, kung nagkasakit ka kahit na sinusunod mo naman ang safety measures and precaution ng kumpanya. Samantala, meron naman tayong tinatawag na accepting circumstance o yung mga pagkakataon na hindi ka pwedeng mag-claim ng easy benefits. Kung ikaw ay lasing o langgo sa alak o drugs habang nagtatrabaho at naaksidente ka, no, no, no yan. Hindi ka rin pwede mag-claim ng ECP kung ikaw ay nagpabaya o notoriously negligent ka kaya ka naaksidente o nagkasakit. Halimbawa ay ang hindi pagsunod sa safety precautions ng kumpanya o hindi pagsuot ng protective gear. Hindi rin valid ang claim kung sinasadya mong sakta ng sarili mo o ang iba na naging sanhi ng aksidente o sakit. Bad yun! Laging tandaan na safety should always be your first priority kahit saan, kahit kailan, kahit sa trabaho. Kapag aksidente di maiwasan, don't worry! Andyan ang ECC to help you! For more information, pumunta lang sa pinakmalapit na ECC office sa inyong lugar. Remember, kahit may ECC, lagi ka pa mag-ingat ha! Ang safety and health sa trabaho ay ating karapatan. Ang safety and health sa trabaho ay ating responsibilidad. Ang pagiging safe and healthy sa trabaho ay ating priority. Ang safety at health sa trabaho ay para sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Para sa pamilya, dapat iwas sakit at disgrasya. Pagligtas at mulisog sa trabaho, pamilya ang panalo. The Philippines is a home for more than 900,000 business enterprises and almost 8 million skilled and talented workers. To help these enterprises become competitive while ensuring the protection of workers' rights and benefits, the National Wages and Productivity Commission and the 17 regional tripartite wages and productivity boards recreated in July 1989 the Republic Act 6727 or the Wage Rationalization Act. The NWPC at the national level acts as an advisory body to the President and Congress on all matters pertaining to wages, incomes, and productivity. The RTWPBs, on the other hand, are mandated to fix minimum wages from private sector and promote productivity and improvement at the regional, industry, and enterprise levels pursuant to policies and guidelines issued by the NWPC. At the same time, The NWPC and the RTWPBs are also mandated under Republic Act 6971 or Productivity Incentives Act to provide technical assistance to enterprises and the development and implementation of productivity improvement programs. Our vision, justly remunerated and productive Filipino workforce in globally competitive enterprises. Our mission, set minimum wage that protects workers' welfare 
promote enterprise and workers' productivity. To realize the vision and mission, the NWPC and RTWPBs are implementing the following programs. First is a policy shift to adapt the two-tiered wage system, which provides for the mandatory minimum wage and voluntary productivity-based pay. The TTWS framework defines the space from the minimum wages as above poverty threshold but lower than average wage. While for the second tier, the NWPC encourages and enables workers and enterprises to implement productivity improvement and performance incentivizing scheme. To support these, the NWPC and the 17 regional boards nationwide are implementing the Productivity Toolbox, a ladderized needs-based approach to productivity improvement for MSMEs. It is a package of training and technical assistance designed to help MSMEs grow, expand, and become viable enterprises, creating more employment opportunities and additional income for our workers. Beneficiaries of the training programs can join the Productivity Olympics, a biennial national competition of the best productivity improvement practices from micro, small, and medium enterprises. To popularize these programs and educate clients on wages and productivity, the NWPC and RTWPBs are implementing a rigorous public awareness campaign to the Kaalaman Sakita at Kakayanan program, which includes public information assistance, development and dissemination of IEC materials, learning sessions, lectures, seminars, and mass media campaign. As the needs of the enterprises and workers change, the NWPC and RTWPDs are also continually promoting programs and policies on wages, incomes, and productivity that are to help drive the economic growth and improve productivity and competitiveness of the country. Morning to all of us. I am your moderator for today, Cecilia C. Aranyes, Administrative Assistant 3 of RTWPB10. The Department of Labor and Employment Convergence of Programs through DOLI10 and its attached agencies, namely Regional Consolidation and Mediation Board 10, Occupational Safety and Health Center 10, Employees Compensation Commission 10, and Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Boards then give our utmost pleasure to welcome you all in today's session, second league of five webinar sessions with the theme COVID-19 in the Workplace, Combating Challenges, Discovering Opportunities. We are happy to note that by hitting our call, we have the maximum number of slots of attendees today, composed mainly of employers, workers, and sectoral organization from private sector. As we proceed, may I request everyone to observe moments of silence for the prayer. The etiquette for the webinar will follow thereafter. Just 
serve you as I should To give and not to count the cost To fight and not to heed the wounds To toil and not to seek for rest To labor and ask not for reward Save that of no Welcome as addressed from our management representative, Mr. Arsenio El Sebastian III, and labor representative, Mr. Nicandro Elbor. Mayong buntag sa tanan. Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Board Region 10, in coordination with Dole Region 10 Convergence Team, is glad to welcome all of you to our webinar session entitled Seven A's of Good Housekeeping, Setting the Pathway to Safe Workplace in the Period of Pandemic. The delivery of this program is in line with the productivity mandate of the board to promote workers and enterprises' productivity. This module is intended to optimize the physical workspace for efficiency and effectiveness by identifying and storing the items used, maintaining orderliness and cleanliness in the area, integration of health and safety protocols in the workplace, and sustaining a new order to ensure safety of the workers in the most efficient manner. We hope this will be of great help to our valued stakeholders. Once again, welcome and thank you very much for your continued support. And let us continue to pray for our safety and good health. Good morning, participants. RKWP Depend, in coordination with Dole 10, Convergence Team is pleased to welcome you all to our second webinar session entitled Seven S of Good Housekeeping, Setting the Pathway to Safe Workplace in the Period of Pandemic. This module is an expanded version of 5S of Good Housekeeping. It is the most basic and fundamental approach for productivity and quality improvement in all types of businesses. The delivery of this program is aimed to help MSMEs to have better and cleaner workplaces with improved safety and health protocols in place in time of this COVID-19 pandemic. We hope you will learn something from the discussion to follow. Thank you and once again, welcome to our webinar. Thank you, sirs, for the warm welcome. Today's webinar session is the second set of the five sessions. The discussion will focus on identifying the cost and unsafe workplace to enterprise and workers' productivity, learning the steps and practices of 7S of good housekeeping, and understanding its importance to safety, health, and productivity. We encourage everyone to attentively listen and participate in our discussions. We will be throwing questions and whoever will answer first will receive worth 
100 electronic globe. While our speaker is presenting, please do not disrupt since we will be answering your questions at the end of the presentation during the open forum allotted in this session. At the end of this webinar, please fill out the feedback forms with the link provided in your respective chat box as a requisite for, your, for the issuance of your e-certificate, which will be emailed to you through email address that you provided in the link. Your feedback will be valuable to us and it will help us to improve our future webinar session. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Attorney Maria Virtual B. Walag, Board Secretary 6 of RTWPB10, will now present the module on 7S of Good Housekeeping, setting pathways to safe workplace in the period of pandemic. Hello, Valia. Good morning sa tanan ng mga valid stakeholders. Thank you for joining this webinar. This is already the second, as mentioned by our moderator, second out of the five webinar sessions that is organized and brought to you by the Dolithan Labor and Management Convergence Team that is composed of the different attached agencies under the Department of Labor and Employment. As we all knew, uh, we cannot deliver the services in the uh, traditional way like we did before, but we can do so now by the use of the digital technology as we are embracing the fourth industry revolution or that's what we call industry 4.0. For our part, the Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Board or RTWPB is one of the touch agencies under the Department of Labor will be sharing to you or delivering to you one of our productivity training modules entitled 7S of Good Housekeeping, Setting the Pathway to a Safe Workplace in the Period of Pandemic. We believe that this module could be of great help to our MSMEs as it, as it is timely and relevant as we will be discussing along the way the safety and health protocols in the workplace. The webinar will be running for about two hours. The one and a half hour will be allotted for uh, the discussion proper and 30 minutes will be allotted for your questions. So I will be enter uh, entertaining questions at the end of my uh, discussion. Further, as mentioned by our uh, moderator, we want to make this webinar interactive as much as possible. So we will be throwing away questions. So as I discuss along the way, there will be a uh, there will be questions that will be shown on the screen. So the mechanics of our, uh, what we call Takulo, no? We will be giving away 100 pesos worth of electronic load that will be credited to your account. So bahala on sang network, we can give the load to you. Um, mechanics is the first to answer the right question in the chat box. So you may key in, you may write in your answer in the chat box and we will see if your answer is correct, then you will get the load. So we will contact you after this webinar. But make it sure, but before typing the answer, you should type your mobile number because that mobile number, uh, din ha na mo ipasa or din ha na mo i-credit ang inyong load. The mobile number, na na mo name, no? the mobile number plus um, the answer. So, kung kinsa to makao na, din ha na to hatagan. So, I hope you will enjoy and you will learn something from us today. Uh, sa dili na to dugayon, ato ng pagasugdan ang atong discussion on the 7S of Good Housekeeping. As mentioned earlier, this module actually is an expanded module. Kaya sa una na 5S, din ka na siya nagdugang. So, nahimo na siyang 7. So, basically, nagdugang ang duha ka S, which will be discussed later. So, to proceed... So at the end of uh, this course, uh, participants are expected to identify what are the costs of unsafe workplace to enterprise and workers' productivity. Then we will be learning the steps and the common practices of the 7S of Good Housekeeping. And lastly, we will understand what are its importance to safety, health, and productivity. We have uh, two uh, course outline. The first one is discussing on the cost of unsafe uh, workplace 
uh, the cost of unsafe workplace to enterprises and workers' productivity. And the second is more an illustration showing what are the steps, common practices adopted by companies, and the importance of 7S of good housekeeping. So before moving on, no, I will be throwing away the first question. So I hope ready na ta. Uh, I hope that uh, ready ng inyong mga kamot to key in the answer. Just remember my instruction, key in your mobile number and the answer. For this question, you can freely type in your answer. For the succeeding questions, uh, na na choices. So, mamili na lang mo sa ABC. But for the first question, uh, you can key in your answers freely. Let atong i-check if your question is, uh, inyong answer is na fit ba na mo sa atong mga tumat. So, here is the first question. So, what are the costs? So, plural siya, no? So, several na siya. Pwede mo makahatag uh, several or multiple answers to this. Incurred resulting to injuries or accidents due to unsafe workplace. So, tagaan mo karoon siguro mga um, sakto about 10 seconds to answer. Because later on, we will be announcing the winners for this. So, 100 rang atong kwan load niya mahatag for you, pero it is just for fun and for interaction purposes. So, are you ready? I will reveal what are the costs. So, okay, I hope someone nga nanana mo yung nag-write because um, we will be giving you away 100 pesos worth of load. So, Okay, time is up. The answers. Okay, number one, we have this direct cost. So under the direct cost is we have penalties. Um, under the Department Order 198, that's the Implementing Rules and Regulations of RA 11508, an act of strengthening compliance with occupational safe and health standards, na provided to nga a uh, violation of the company that would result to workers' death, serious illness, or injury, pwede sila makabayad sa penalties of up to 100,000. Okay? So, mauni ang isa sa mga ma-incur na to kung natay violation sa atong workplace na daily safe sa atong mga workers. So, aside from that, a penalty na po tayo mga administrative fines under the DO-198. Garange na siya, depending on the violation, from 20,000 to 40. For example, contractors failed to register with DOLE, na na siya 20,000 uh, 20, penalty. So, in general, dako ang cost na ma-incur. What if kung you have sa daghan mo nga mga violations, no? Multiple violations, ginabutan ko dito nga kung naatay multiple violations, ang mahitabo, no? Pwede mo penaltihan daily. Daily ang penalty of an amount not exceeding 100,000. So, it times na ninyo until mo mag-comply, you just can compute that. So, mauna isa sa mga uh, ma-incur na dakong uh, pwede mabayaran sa atong company because we are enforcing safety na karan sa atong workplace. Of course, second is paying out to replace or repair damaged equipment and property. So, uh, this is kind of common sense. So, the company will be paying out in case nga dako siya replacement if the machine costs millions. So, dako po ng iyang ma bayran to replace or to repair the damaged equipment and property. Sa third one, medical expenses. So, example na mga maputulan o kamot, mahospital. So, it would be at the expense of the company. Unless ang company na asya gi insured niya ang iyamang mga workers. Kung wala the insurance, we have of course feel health, but in excess of that, pwede mag, of course, shoulder sa company ang mga medical or hospitalization expenses. Sick pay. All the sick pay, no, under the labor code, uh, dili siya ingon nga mandatory because it, the mandatory under the labor code is SIL or the service incentive leave. However, if the company, no, kung naasalay sick pay, then kung masakit ang empleyado due to unsafe workplace or mahospital life, pwede niya ma-avail ang sick pay. And of course, it is with pay. So, mauna ang uh, number one, no, nga mga direct costs. What are the other costs? Let us explore. The second is, gitawag na itong mga hidden costs. So, dili kay siya dali makitaan kay hidden man, no? So, may delay of projects. Example, the projects involves construction, di ba? Kung dako ang pagka-accidente and it involves several workers or skilled workers, pwede ma-delay ang maong proyekto, no? 
equipment damage if the uh, uh, what we call this uh, the damage uh, involves loss to equipment. So, pari-parihara na siya sa paying out kini equipment damage. Then, we will, of course, conduct investigation no? by reports sa dole of actions and implementations of the corrective actions kay bisitahan as siya dito in the workplace of mag-conduct investigation. So, loss of skilled workers. Of course, kung ang mga skilled workers, isa sa mga biktimas, bakulang, no? Sa maong uh, trahedya. So, it's also considered as cost. So, tanaw na to in mong in your answers later on, if kung dool dool ra din he, we could consider that answer. The third one, we have loss of reputation. This has something to do with the company's goodwill, no? Reputation nga akana ang company na asila huna huna nga. This is a safe company nga pwede mi maka employ. Dili ta mahadlo kay na may ubang company nga very strong or strengthen kaayo ang ilang occupational safety and health dito. So, a hit or reputation due to an accident can lead to a loss of both existing and new customers, clients, investors, and partners. Of course, kung may balaan sa, sa mga investors na kini nga company, wala giniga adhere, wala yung strict adherence to safety and health, pwede sila mag -back out. So, kung na may answer din loss of reputation or it has something to do with the company's goodwill, we can consider your answer. The next one, is a collapse of employee morale and productivity. An unsafe workplace, whether an incident has occurred as a result or not, has proven to lower the levels of uh, morale and ultimately productivity. Of course, uh, kita tao, no, ma-accident yung atong mga kauban, mukha biya po tag maubos ang atong morale. So this, this is just a normal reaction of an employee. Kung nai magkahitabo sa workplace of an accident, especially if it involves several workers o mga maayong mga empleyado. So makaubos o morals akong um, empleyado. And well as of course, ang productivity. Maluyahan sila. They do not want to report to work. So uh, syempre, ang productivity, kung nakagiapas ng timeline, so it cause a, a collapse of employee morale and productivity. And the other one, loss of time and resources. An accident or incident can cost a business greatly both of time and resources. So this is more of a generic. Kung magtubag mo din loss of resources, loss of time, then appeal siya under sa number five. So ang panahon sa pag-investigate and all the resources and the money and the energy spent at the cost of the company. So I hope sa among mojo ka hon, uh, we will learn, no? We will, uh, uh, sa tawag, learn something. Okay? So, before ko mag-proceed, okay? Ako sa i-announce ang winner. Nanan dito ay winner, no? Si Mr. Jeff of Asia Pro. So, winner siya. Nakakorekt siya sa, uh, siya kinaunhan niya winner for this. Mr. Jeff, we will contact you later for the 100 pesos worth of electronic load of the mobile number of your choice, we can credit it bisag unsa, no? We are using, uh, um, Gcash or Coins.ph, we can give the load to you immediately right after. Because, uh, lahi mga good ning webinar kung sa tawag dan hi kung actual because, uh, the interaction, gusto ko more interactive ang atong session kay, uh, this is a new way of doing things now. Okay? So, let me proceed. So, I will be throwing away the Daghan Panishads around seven questions. So, natagi reserved worth 700 worth of electronic load. Para malingaw lang mo. Although it is just a minimal amount, but uh, just for fun, yeah. you learn something and not my something in this train. Okay, let me proceed. According to the World Health Organization, a healthy and safe workplace is one in which workers and managers collaborate to use a continual improvement process to protect, improve, and promote the health, safety, productivity, and well-being of workers and the sustainability of workplace. So, gipasabot lang din he, nga ang safety workplace has a direct connection to workers productivity. So, you cannot just separate nga, maingon ka nga atong workplace o siya tawag, uh, we want to improve productivity but you want but inyo lang ay ignore ang aspect of safety because this has a direct correlation to workers' uh, productivity. So, simply lang, kung atong workplace is safe, that will contribute to the uh, productivity of the workers and enterprise. 
Okay, now we will be learning the seven S of good housekeeping, the steps and practices. So, more of these illustrations and slides, no? Na atong makitaan kung unsa ba yun ding seven S of good housekeeping. Okay, so before that, there is another question, so. So, question, who first utilized the housekeeping as a tool to improve company's operations? So, again, please write your um, mobile number and the letter only of the correct answer. Ayaw na itype ng ngalan. So, kinsa man daw ang kinaunhan nag utilize and hing uh, 7S, but 5S on then current 7S as a tool to improve company's operations. Letter A. Henry Ford, letter B, Hiro Yuki Hirano, or letter C, Mishido Toyada. So, just key in the correct answer, your mobile number, and the letter of your answer. So, kinsa kinaunhan nga maka answer will get again 100 uh, pesos worth. So, I will be giving siguro dali ramanino mga 3 seconds to answer. Okay, type in ramanino ang correct answer. Okay, ready na bakaha? Na napakay na ka time? Okay, ako na i-reveal, no? Okay, kung kung kuan ato nang i-reveal. So kinsa ka ang kinaunhan din hinagamit, no? Sa gitawag na top 7 as let me reveal the answer to you. San para na ako na lang mag-music, okay? Letter A, Henry Ford. Okay. The use of this tool started in 1972 by Henry Ford in the United States as the Kando program. So, Kando pa rin yung cleaning up, arranging, neatness, discipline, and ongoing improvement. However, this technique was popularized as Japanese 5S in 1980 by Hiroyuki Hirano. So, ang correct answer to nato din has letter A. Although madungog na nato ang 5S as Japanese technology, but it was first used by Henry Ford. So, an American di ay ang kinaunhan na gamit din hing 7S or 5S pa primero. So, the correct answer is letter A. Siguro sure ko daghan nag-answer letter B. Hiroyuki Hirano or letter C. Daghan siguro nag-answer dito, but the correct answer is letter A. Okay, nana pa tayo winner. So, ang um, winner na to, na na, okay? Paspas na kaayo, no? Before kumu I, -an I announce na to, uh, she is from UNITAP. So, na yung mobile number sa iya. Ang iyang na correct answer is letter A. So, uh, ma'am, kanong karon nga mga winners, we will contact you after this presentation to predict the uh, e-load. So, thank you, Hannah. Gihap po may nag-participate. Sure ko, daghan nag-answer ng letter B kay ako po sa una mukhang B po to akong answer but the correct answer is letter B. E. Okay? So, uh, much of the trivia but nang i-proceed ang discussion proper. Okay. 7S of good housekeeping actually the expanded version of the 5S is a systematized approach to workplace uh, tidiness. No? We have four basic steps actually. The first one is to organize work areas. So, what are the rules in organizing work areas that will be discussed later on? Then second, we will set the rules and standards. Third one, practice self-discipline as a way of life. And number four, maintain safety in the workplace. So, this is just the gist of what 7S is all about. But we will be learning later the step-by-step -by -step process kung saan ito pag-organize, pag-set of rules, and Pag maintain, but ang pinaka lisod no in any uh, productivity improvement program is ang pinaka last and how to maintain. Pwede man ka makasugod, but in the long run, ang pag maintain sa taas na panahon, this is a challenge to all of us. Kay makapuyan, malimpan, then mubalik na saka sa uh, primero. Okay? The second S of good housekeeping stands for uh, first S is sorting, systematize, Sweep, standardize, self-discipline, sustain, and safety. So, ang na-add-on karon since an expanded version is Duha ka S, the sustain and safety. Sa una, tama na sila din has a self-discipline. The first three, that's the action nga iti atong buhaton, the sorting, systematizing, and sweeping. Sweeping, also known as other term for sweeping, is shine. So, they use it interchangeably, okay? So, ang fourth is 
uh, standardized and self-discipline. So, din hinada yun ang magsugod and difficulty for us to continue, no? Kay mo umay pinaka-challenge. But, uh, anyway, this is a uh, continuous improvement. Small incremental steps to improve. Dili magod na overnight nga inyong company nag-implement uh, na nga mo improve ba? But it is always a continuous process or a case in continuous improvement. Okay, the importance of good housekeeping. The first one is improves quality control. When it comes to product, if the pro ang inyong company no, is well organized, dali ang inyong makita. So, ang inyong quality control, makita niyo dali ang mga defects. So, uh, 5S is, uh, 7S is a good way to improve your quality control. Of course, on-time delivery. On sa man on-time delivery, kung atong mga stocks, well, properly organized and labeled, dili pa madali o pangita kung asa to. So, maka-help siya sa papangita ang, sa atong mga stocks. So, it could improve uh, customer satisfaction on uh, on-time delivery. Cost efficient. So, this program is the basic and the foundation of all productivity training programs. Cost efficient sa dili siya liso, dili siya mahal na implement of the company and not only in the company and even sa atong mga balay pwede ma-implement ang 7S of good housekeeping dili ka kinahanglan mo palit og mga dagko ka ayong nga machine or equipment to implement this program so this is cost efficient dili siya gasto and it will fourth it will yield to higher productivity so it has something to do na nakaron no connection na siya sa quality control kung ang company a clean safe then improve ang ang iyang layout, it could yield to higher productivity. Of course, boosting moral of the employee. So, ganahan baka nga, what's in my workplace is hugaw or bullying, di ba? Mas guapo kung niyat kay hapsay ang imong pananaw. And of course, it ensures safety. Dali na ito makita ang anything din hanga kinahangla na ito i-fix. For example, sa mga company nga kinahangla preventive maintenance nga na ay mga machine na kinahanglan i-fix timely. Kaya kung dili sila ma-fix, it could be a source na pwede siya mabuto or mo-erap or anything na maka-cross of injury. Kung ang 7S is in place, especially ang preventive maintenance is part of the safety. So, important yung hapon siya. So, these are the general benefits of implementing 7S. Okay, the first one nga, isa ka S, is sort. So, um, translated sa Tagalog is sorry in. Ang saman din ng sorry in. So, identifying and eliminating unnecessary items in the workplace. That's the first step. So, sa kadaghang kalap or clutter in the workplace, we need to identify kung kini nga mga butang kailangan pa ba ni? Necessary or not necessary. So, in identifying, so, ang saman yung makategorize na ito ang unnecessary. Kung may nga necessary, it is anything needed to produce a product or serve service, no? But unnecessary, it could be obsolete, so dili na kailangan, defective, trash, or of unknown use in the work area. So, sa first pa lang, no? Sa company, uh, kung implement na ninyo, this is the first step. So, di ba, usahay sa company na ay mga trash. So, kinahanglan na to isig actually sorting is, um, mukhang hapon niya siyang segregation. Kung unsa mga kailangan or dili kailangan, as simple as that ng atong i-identify. Of course, kamu ang makabalo sa inyong workplace. Sometimes, na po yung mga things na sa necessary, uh, categorize paghihapon siya always, seldom or rarely used. So, na paghihapon siya ay subcategory kung may ngon kag necessary. The rule that uh, kung always ang materials gina-use, ang iyang storage is dapat dool siya. Okay. Katong mga seldom or rarely but necessary is ipalayo siya so dapat na siya storage na area. Okay? So, kung mo ayun po kag unnecessary, kini mga obsolete, trash, or defective, pwede pag yun po na hindi mo siya mahimay-himay. Kaya naiuban ng mga ibutang na itong uh, defective na mga things, uh, dili mag na totally na ilabay. Kaya pwede mag na ito na ilabay sa mga junk shop in which makagenerate gihapon tayo yung kam. Dahil uban nga mga papers, like mga confidential or obsolete, so pwede na nato na siya ilabay sa landfill. So, na, uh, naagihapon na siya inyong tanaw na uh, way uh, sa pag-identify din he kung 
obsolete bagyo di kinahanglan eh, throw or obsolete pa nga eh, throw but you can earn something. So that's the first step sa atong segregation, sorting or sorry it. Okay, some sort practices, no? So we'll be sharing to you illustrations. So all tools and materials must be sorted and classified. So in the first picture, nakitaan man ato ang mga tools. So kini nga mga tools is ga, kala, ga kapag pa siya, no? So ang atong um, idea is ato siyang i-arrange. Uh, so ato siyang i-sort and i-classify. So natanawa na ito sa second picture nga katong mga kapapariha niya use mga screwdriver naka-arrange tanan. So ang mga ubus po niya papariha o color naka-arrange na po tanan. So this is just a simply way an illustration on how to do sorting practices. Another, remove unnecessary clutter in the area. So kini nga area mo mo seem familiar. So mukha ni siya kuan sa wato tag SNR. So, siguro sa Budiga at before, wala pa siya na-arrange. So, ingon ani pa iyang forma, no? But kung ma-arrange na siya, so, i-declutter ni mo, i-remove na to iyang area, i-put na to into a specific place. So, half-sign na siya tanawon. So, remove unnecessary clutter in the work area. Another, oh, makita na to din here, uh, uh, sa isa ka food chain. So, then, ang mga lingkuranan. So, na-arrange na siya ang isa. Na-arrange na siya properly. Kaya yung isa, no? Nagpakita na siya nga na sa social distancing. So, removing any society. General din he is, i-remove na to ang not needed in the work area. Then, what else? Another illustration. So, kaya niya these are actual photos of companies, no? Nga i-apply nila ang removal. So, Nakita na nato nga ang unsa na asa imong work area katuwa yung mga things that are needed sa imong uh, trabaho and remove the unnecessary one. Then second, throw away all rubbish and unrelated materials in the workplace. So in the first picture, nabay makarelate nga ingan na atong workplace. Bubut ka ayo daghang mga papel. So sa second, at least nahapsay na siya kung unsay kailangan ra din ha mao ka na ang naa sa imong table. So, ang mga folder, ang mga porta file na not so necessary, we can discard that or put it sa isa ka box or place uh, mahapsay ang atong work area. Then, kine, remove and arrange walkway cluttered cords across because this is hazard and dangerous. Pwede ka ma... Okay, kana dili maglakaw ka. Diba? Pwede ta mas uh, tawag din ha ma, ma slide and pwede ta ma damag. So, the best way is ato siyang hiposon as shown in the illustration. So, appeal giha po ni remove unnecessary clutter in the work area. This is part of the sorting process. Okay. Provide more lightings in the pathway. So, kung ang pathway is uh, ngit-ngit, so, pwede ta mag-provide of illumination. Do, ato silang kuan provision of lighting. Kaya para hayag. Kasi bako ngit-ngit or uh, na yung mga accidents din ha, ma-prevent na to o makita na to atong giagitan. Okay, another is pathway or exit must be free from any unnecessary obstruction. So, kabalo man tanong, ang fire department will inspect the area Especially sa mga exit doors na to, they are, this must be free from any clutter or kanabit ng mga nakablock. Because in case of emergency, the exit area will be used din hakamwagi. So, pwede ta mafinan ang building sa Bureau of Fire pag na ay mga things na nag-obstruct sa pathway. So, ato mga exit area, it must be free from clutter. I'm sorry, free from any unnecessary obstruction. Then, Marking. So, uh, exit also must be free from, uh, okay, unnecessary obstruction and mark. It must be marked properly. Uh, have you noticed siguro sa mga malls, no? kung nakaanto na sa mga malls, na natay mga one-way direction karon or di ba one-way area, lahi ang uh, padulong sa entrance and lahi sa exit. Unlike before, na kung wadu to sa mall, bisag asa ta gusto mo, 
Agi, but now we can see already directional signs like an arrow like this. So I've seen one here sa atong local mall. Usahay, magkahon nga pa sa pandemic, we must be conscious no nga mag-read na tag directional sign. Usahay, makita na ito nga magsita ang guard nga diri dapita kay ma'am. Maungan na ang agianan kiri pa, pa, pabalik. So, we can see also nga mga lines nga uh, observe at least one meter apart. Observe social distancing na mga footsteps. No? So, even sa itong mga elevators na natin mga designated area kung pillar ang capacity. So, we will be seeing more of this directional signs. Okay, another. Kinigya po in the company, no? Makita ni nato kini nga mga arrow or mga signs in the company, especially sa mga company engaged in production or manufacturing. They are very critical as to the sign. So sign ni siya sa company for safety. So I've seen one when we went to Toyota, so the hundreds lang mga uh, directional signs or mga signages like this sa ilang planta. Then now, so um, kini siya Disinfection of the pathway. This is very common. So, um, under sa Dolly and DTI Joint Interim Guidelines on Workplace Prevention and Control, dapat na atay foot bath, no? Before tamo sulod sa itong area. So, even ang mga vehicles, there, there must be also a foot bath para sa mga vehicle sa mga ligid nga muage. So, this is now very common nga atong makita. And bisag asa nga mga offices, this one nga naasa illustration. So, foot bath. Then, stairs, no? Napagyapunta sa sorting, ha? Keep the stairs free from rubbish and slippery dirt. So, importante kung itong mga hagdanan sa itong mga balay, tag-as. So, pwede ta magbutang kung anti-slip mat or kanang anti-slip strip na ibutang nato din, ha? Kay simba ko o mga danlog ang itong mga hagdanan at least ma-prevent nato ang accident. So, naasya'y mga na namatagkahon ang mga ma-order din ha. Dikit lang na ito mga anti-slip na mga material sa itong mga stairs. So, again, we get rid of unnecessary clapper while working. Okay, another question. So, kaka, no? Uh, this is also another question. What is the Japanese term for systematize? So, I hope na uh, na mati mo or na amo siya uh, na mention ba nako ganiha earlier Japanese term for systematize uh, letter A Siri letter B Siso or letter C Siton so unsa daw ang Japanese term <gasps> Okay na click na nato ang answer the correct Answer for this, no? Sorry, na technical problem. Na click ang answer. I hope na isamwa na kakiyan sa correct answer. The correct answer for systematize is siton. Oh, I hope na wala na ko na ano na click na to direct show ang answer no na pa show. I hope someone got the right answer correctly. Dili naman tingali ni i-Google kaya I think that's a very simple. You just uh, guess or don't say answer. So, again, the lucky winner will receive the 100 pesos worth of load. Okay, nana tay winner. Okay. Okay, winner number three. Si Ma'am Marilo Luzano. Correct? Ang iyang answer letter C. Ma'am Marilo, we will contact you later for the crediting of our price sa imuha. So, thank you so much. No? I'm very happy kay Alice. In this way, I can make my discussion interactive. O, delete na muna kung madungo or even I cannot see all of you. At least, we make this um, webinar an interactive and a fun way of learning. Okay? May I proceed? Okay, na na sa step two. So, systematize. Again, the Japanese word for systematize is siton. So, sa Tagalog, Sinupin. Systematize uh, is just arranging necessary items in good order for you. So, after na ni mo na sort, di ba? Balik ka, di sort man ako, unsa ang necessary o unsa dili necessary. Um, mga necessary mga things, of course, na-identify na to. We have to have a place for them. Kinahanglan na to sila i-arrange. So, sa kini nga systematize, arranging na ni kung sa ato pa lang, no? Ibutang nila to siya mga proper nga mga place like shelves, cabinets, cubicles, and area. Saka itong mga na-identify na ni mga mga things na itong tanaw nga necessary. Okay? 
this is just a place for everything and everything in its place clean and ready for use. So as shown in the illustration, nakita na to, no? Nga kana nga mga things na na siya'y butanganan. Then anytime, ang may benefit din hi, nga to na nakita, it is for easy retrieval of the things that kailangan na to. Kung natin pangitaon, dili na ta makapangita o asa. So of course, important also ang labeling for us to identify the things that we need to. So labeling and Please, kung asa siya. So, easy retrieval. And yun, dili na ka makapulikig pangita kung asa. So, you're not uh, anymore finding a needle in the haystack. So, ingana na, okay, makita na na to directly. That's the benefit of systematizing or arranging things in order. So, like this. Make a shadow order, no? Parihan, as shown in the illustration, nakita na ni mong, uh, for example, the pool that was missing. Nakita ni mong na lang siya illustration. So, um, so the first nga ta illustration is shadow boarding. So pasabot din ha, nagaraksyon na na rin na bilhin ang material mismo is wala. Easily identify yung asay na wala. Ay kung saan siya, shadow na may nabilhin. So first di ba, asa ni mo siya gi-alpak? Ato ka pong e-return. Kasi pa rin di ba, siya gili mao ang pangalaman siya. May gili na mao. What we call shadow boarding. And second, as mentioned earlier, of course, labeling. Diba kung makikita ka sa mga mall, nakalabel yun ang ilang mga products. Diba? Mga sa dapit din yung sabon. At tumog SNR or any, sorry, any grocery stores. Ako dili na kung memorize. Kalinga kung pangutan na. Ako silang itest. Sige na, okay na ba siya? 4.8. Ako dyan tanawon. Lane B, lane C. So, by identifying per lane, makabalo na sila nga tua sa lane C ang tanan ng mga sabon. Then from there, we can identify different products, different brand. So, ang sabon, napadyot na siya ay liquid. Napadyot na siya ay sabon ng powder. Diba? Napabay o bang sabon niya under siya isa ka brand. Several variants. So, dito na ito. Makita, very important ang labeling. Kay dali ka na ito. Dali ka mawala. No? Dali ani mo malukit kung sa imong buhat. Another is outlining. So kining outlining mo agduduol ra gihapon na siya sa shadow boarding. Ang outlining na na siya mga pangalan no. Pariha din hing um sa unsa ni klase nga material by sizes. So makita niya from small to big size. So from ascending to descending ni mo nga pagka-arrange it's up to you. There's no hard and fast rule kung uh, asa ka pwede mag-arrange, pagamay, padako. But what is important, ipasambot din he is, uh, that a way of arranging things. Nadali ka na to malocate kung kailangan na na to gamit. Okay? Some illustrations show marker. So, uh, marker, uh, create marker lines and arrow. Pariha din ang illustration, uh, palette jack. Okay? So, pasabot din ha, din ha ni mo i-return ang palette jack. Mauna siya'y butanganan sa palette jack just in case nga i-mo kukhaon. So, nana siya'y timailhan. Where to put things back in order. So, pariha din ang mga illustration. Then, pariha din sa second illustration. Okay? Naka-illustrate na siya kung asa ni mo siya uh, ibalik. So, that's easy for us. So this is very applicable sa atong mga manufacturing and production. They have been practicing din he. Sa atong mga balay, especially karon, pwede po tayo na po i-practice this. Kung asa ni mo gusto i-return ang something, butangan ni mo na siya o mga marking. So pwede kaya po nila itong ma-apply sa atong mga household. Next, another marking lines. Especially karon, directional signs as mentioned earlier. Kanang mga footprint na to, mga signages, uh, signages, so makita, uh, makita na, na to, ano, na mga arrow. So, uh, actually, ang 7S, uh, this is more very practical. Bisan pa siguro, wala ka mukha training, but you have been doing this, makaingon mo, ah, kabalo na may anak. Wala mong kabalo kung mga Siri, mga sort of thing, but we have already been doing this in part. Di ay na siya sa technology sa 7S. So I've encountered a lot na may mga kabalo na mami anak. Wala may kabalo nga mo na yung alan. Okay? So, another importance of floor marking. So, nananday siya yung mga designation, no? Kung may ngon taog, white, for example, production machine. 
carts, benches, and other equipment that does not fall on any of the following guidelines. Pumingon ka red. So we can color red. So defect, scrap area, red tag area. Orange, material or product inspection or energized equipment. So kini mga standard color nga ginagamit sa atong mga industries. For example, blue, materials and manufacture, uh, manufacturing raw materials. Black, materials are, are manufacturing or works in progress. So, ibig sabihin, kini nga mga line nga atong giadapt na siya yung mga meaning. Floor markings are important aspect of communicating facility safety. It is essential to follow the best industry practice. We cannot memorize everything, but if we can, uh, siguro familiarize kung mga adto na to sa mga production kung dito tan manakbaho. I know some of you na master na kaya din hinga mga color, makabalo na sila. So kita, for example, di ay makakita dito stripe na black o yellow areas which present physical or health risk to employees indicates that extra caution is to be exercised. So, ma-remember na ako sa mga um, mall, like for example, na bitong mag-map sila, after that, mag-butang sila marking and hang uh, slippery or wet. So, uh, usahay ilang ibutang na is a combination of yellow and black. So, maudi ay pasagot. So, kung stripe na uh, white and red, areas to be kept clear for safety reasons around emergency, access points, electrical panels, for fighting equipment. So, kini, so as shown sa tong screen, these are the colors and ang unsang iyahang mga meaning. So, we can do this uh, sa ato din he, even in the simple lang nato nga, uh, nga workplace. We can adapt this one. So, nod. Okay, systematize pag uh, Practice safety. No? Place hazardous materials on a designated storage area, okay? Masabtan um, man nato that the highly flammable and con combustible material dapat na siya designated na storage as well as ang area na asa siya ibutang. It is because kini nga mga ma materials, kuwanin uh, siya highly volatile na pwede makakos sa life sa atong mga employee and even pwede makakos sa imong business. Simba ko, so this as equip nisha on a specific and special storage and a special designated area. Then another on systematize, put signage to alert people. So sa construct uh, sa industry, so always ni mo makita din hinga mga signs like hining isa watch for moving vehicles, especially ato sa ta na mga forklift. Iba na asya mga caution na signs. So, uh, just like in driving, we have what we call cautionary signages and directional signages. So, sa caution, di ba, kung high electric voltage na siya towing uh, mukhang na ay um, tawag din electrocution or na siya lighting. So, makabasa man pa, no? Danger, hard hat area, musulot ng mga construction industry, kinahanglan pa mag-wear o hard hat. That is also for our protection. So, Kinish is very common. We will be seeing all of this at our industry. So, sa mga kuansad, sa mga road, yung makita na to kung may magkalot, makita ni mo dito kung uh, manhole open, deep excavation. So, not just like mga directional signs, as much as possible, ni kagabi, eh, example, reflectorize. Why? It's because kung gabi ingit ngit, labi na gulay suba, dili mabasa. At least, ang sign, makahatag ug alert kung uh, reflectorize na siya. Another, we have this, okay, coronavirus alert, no visitors allowed. This is also another sign that is timely and relevant now. Even sa dole, no, before the manatay inspection sa mga establishment, a joint inspection conducted by dole and DTI, papangitaon ang mga signage on the workplace, especially karon ang no mass, no entry policy. Wear mask in this facility. Maintain physical distance of at least six feet. So, uh, practice regular hand washing of at, at least 20 seconds. Okay, sanitize. Okay, we value your safety. Please sanitize. Wash your hands. So, mga signages karon. So, these are the common signages now away. So, that's part of systematize. Next. 
on the floor, make an anti-slip threads on stairs. So, uh, I mentioned naman earlier, no, na simba ko uh, slippery, at least na may anti-slip threads na mag-prevent of accident. Then, another unsystematized, design a demarcated walkway for people. So, kahon, makita na nato nga, na mga area, nga gidesignate siya, nga din ha, muagi ang mga tao, no? Na po sa mga manufacturing or uh, sa mga dagkong planta, na po yung mga signages na nga, no people allowed in this area. Kaya kini, agianan ka sa mga machine dito. Kini, for pedestrian only. So, makita ni na to, ang uh, mga mga signs, these are common. Then, again, uh, discuss naman na eh. It has been already repeated. Marker lines. So, this is common nowadays. Uh, this is more of illustrations, I think, to show some examples of mga marker lines. Then, for systematize, um, set a fixed storage for cleaning materials or equipment. So, kinig, kinahangla na gitan mga cabinets mga shelves in which we will be storing all our cleaning materials or equipment. So, makita na to no, very important nga pag nata sa company na tayo storage area nga dito na to equip ang mga things for cleaning, mga things na kinahangla na to store na dili dapat makitaan sa kadaghanan. So, very important ang atong mga storage areas. Then, this one, under still systematized is reconfiguration of the work layout to instill physical uh, distancing. So, part of the sa Dolly and DTI guidelines na na mention na jid na po nga incorporate na namo din in the workplace. For example, uh, ginaano yun ni na to nga physical distancing is still in the workplace. Sa pantry, kung magkaon di hapon ta, di hapon pwede nga dool. So, nag hapon designated area o pila ka katao siguro. So, social distancing. Ano ka nang ano nilang social distancing? Of course, kay based on studies, ang, uh, what we call this, ang transmission is a virus is through uh, droplets man. So, malikaya na to ang spread sa virus if we maintain physical or social distancing. But recently, there has been studies na nga on na the virus can be transmitted to aerosol transmission. So, dili ko mag-discuss more on that, but uh, mao pa yung mga development on the studies. So, still, sa kana nga, kana nga, um, siguro ilang mga studies, still physical distancing is still very important. Kaya in a few seconds, although aerosol ka siya, mo drop down na manggihapon ang virus. So, at least kung layo, dili na siya malagpot, eh, dili na siya makaabot. So, to prevent the spread of viruses in the workplace. Okay. Oh, another. Okay, another question. Okay, what is okay? Another term for sweep, no? That could be interchangeably used for sweep. Na mention nila ako ganihan at the beginning of my discussion. So letter A, set and order. Letter B, shine. Or letter C, segregate. What is the another? term that can be used interchangeably for sweep. So I will give you siguro mga three seconds to answer. Just key in the mobile number and the letter of your answer. So the correct answer receive of load you can more. Okay? So while waiting. Okay. Oh, na na tay winner. Okay, the net, the correct answer for this is the term that can be interchangeably used for sweeping is letter B, shine. Oh, okay. So in some uh, Japanese term, uh, sweeping or shine, shine it's because of the preventive maintenance. No, kaya dito man ang derive ang term. Say ba na siya used interchangeably. Sa preventive maintenance, we want to make sure that mas machines are well kept, well maintained, sinaw good. So, din na ang term na to nga shy na kuha. Okay. We have winner number four. Our fourth winner is, the, his name is Mr. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the last name or the first name. Mr. Sa Sa'it or Sa'it. Okay. Correct ang iyang answer. So, 
wait a call from us later on. Mr. Uh, last name is Sa'it or Sa'it. I'm not sure on how to read this. Fourth winner. So thank you so much, Rose. I'm so happy for this. Okay, at least na mo na maminaw and mag-participate. All of this is online. And this is one way of making our session alive. And learning is fun. Actually, you always think that learning is fun. Dili kayo ka serious din hinga na pita kay. Learning is fun. At the same time, you will learn something from us. Okay? Moving on to our next topic. Oh, sweep. Letter number three. Di ba nahesgutan na na to ang sorting? Systematizing. At ikatulo na pa nga S. Sweep, simutin, or another term is shine. So meaning... Kung may ngayon sweep is uh, cleaning your workplace and equipment. So, kuha na din na siya. Pagpalimpyo ka din na sa atong workplace o sa atong mga gamit in the workplace. Okay. Some sweep practices, no? Number one, do not wait until things get dirty. Hmm. So, pasabot din, hindi lita magkulat. Nga mabuling pa pag-ayo ay ha na to limpihan. Then, in the office, we have a five-minute rule. So, before... Uh, ka magsunod sa office, no? Before ka mag-sit sa among office, at least five minutes, you can uh, clean up the things. Then, ha, pwede ni mo siya i-sanitize, magbutang kag-alcohol, inong ipang kapupan ang inong work area. And also, before leaving, pwede kaya pa ni mo siya limpipan. So, do not wait until things get dirty. Hindi na ito magpaabot na lisod na kayo siya limpiyuhan kay nanukot na ang mga buling. So, it is just practical that we clean our things regularly. And practice 5 to 10 minutes of sweeping daily. So, all these other mga offices, we have uh, utilities, no? But everyone in 7S of good housekeeping is considered a janitor. So, everyone should uh, clean iyang kaugalingon ng mga area. Dilita magkulap nga, ah, si Kuan dito ni mag-clean, din siya, kapito ang mag -arrange. So, in the 7S of good housekeeping, is everyone is a janitor. So, clean our own space. Okay? Combine, combine cleaning with inspection. Of course, nag mag-clean up sa itong mga uh, things, like for example, itong mga kinig, ipakita sa illustration, it's a printer, no? This is a personal from NWTC, an actual photo from our central office, nag-clean. Of course, i-check po na to upon cleaning, kung na ba mga daot, na ba mga leaks. So, very important, kung dako nga planta, simba ko ang nag-leak, that too is dako ninyo nga na equipment, but very... Uh, one, highly volatile and combustible. So, mauna kinahanglan dyan na to i-check. Nili lang kay cleaning, but inspect if something is wrong. Kay kung makita na na to, madetect na na to on the verb. First place, di ba, natin kasabihan na prevention is better than cure. So, makita na to, ma-prevent na to ang any damage, further damage na makakost early detection ang mas maay. So, same also with this um, one. Saya tawag din ha, Principle on sweeping. Provide waste segregation. So this is very common even in our household. An ordinance passed by the city providing for waste segregation like katong malata, okay, biodegradable, dili malata and then bio and the hazardous materials. Diba na ito yung uh, ordinance nga dili na i-pick up sa mga basura if ang atong mga basura is wala dyan siya nabutangan sa proper label, wala na ito nabutangan. So, biodegradable, non-biodegradable, or hazardous waste. So, even in our city ordinance, appeal kaya po ninyo, you know? ang, ang, ang concept sa sweeping is uh, segregation and even in our workplace. Especially for sa mga hospitals, no? na sa special na hospital waste, diligid siya dapat i- appeal sa mga common ways because those hospital ways sometimes are highly infectious. So separate yun ang ilahang butangan, ana ng mga klase ng mga ways. Okay? Moving on, uh, sweeping. Okay. Literally, kinina nilihig ni floors must be free from dirt, dust, and spills. So, parang many common sense lang. Limpiuhan na to, atong mapan. No? Okay. Uh, Simba ko, di ba, kung makita na to, ka ng mga bata nga magdagandagan, even sa mga malls, maybe it could cause accidents kung na mga basa, na mga danlog. And also, proper pre precautionary signs must be put in place. So, common ni siya, kining caution, wet floor, bisag asa na to, no? Kay, na mga uban, nga dili magin makakita, or sometimes careless, it could cause accident. Then, another, 
use appropriate PPEs in cleaning. Uh, use appropriate PPEs and cleaning materials disinfectant solutions. So very important now, especially sa kahon nga panahon, cleaning is very important. Gibutang galing na itong ng atong mga doors. Kada mga spaces nga, door knobs na always na to ma mahikapan, must be sanitized every two hours. Okay? So, ang mga sanitation na pagkakon, ang mga disinfectants, is, na uban mahalan, but they can have a solution ng itudlo sa abdo, di ba? Na siya ay katong bleach, then pwede siya i-dilute sa water, na siya ay specific, di lang kung maka-memorize o kung saan itong pag-dilute under sa DOH, sa una, itudlo ang tanila, instead of buying, kana lang nga mga bleach, it must be dilute sa certain nga quantity of water and the same could be used as a sanitizer. Uh, I remember, I even remember that uh, certain alcoholic product, ibutangan nila of Zonrox and Downy, na himo na puti siya that they use it as a uh, a way of sanitizing. So I've seen that one. Uh, a mixture of uh, fabric conditioner, uh, Zonrox, and an alcohol product. Alcohol na siya, so meaning taas ang presence of alcohol na mainom, naputi siya and can be used for this uh, use as disinfectant. So, dahon, uh, sa una, no, mahal ang mga alcohol na to, but lately, as the production ng gabalik na gahinay, nagkaanam na po o ka, kabarato and disinfection this time is uh, very important kasi during that uh, the virus, no, na nag-spread, kinahangla na to makontrol kung, kung saan nila to sila makontrol. So by use of this infection, can uban they can kill uh, the germs? Batang mapo no, 99.5 percent. So this is one way. So sweeping still is uh, very important. Then, okay, kine kahili ng hapon pa this time of COVID, wash your hands thoroughly at least 20 seconds. So. Always mention that as a reminder in everywhere, dili lang ang dole, DOH even, radio station asa ka makadungog, washing your hands um, properly or thoroughly. Dili lang kayo mahunaw nga kasa. So, di ba na siya proper? You rub your hands. Then, katong mga edges sa imong kamot, the palm, okay? So, na siya one way, uh, na siya uh, as shown in the picture, no? on how to thoroughly wash your hands. Because by washing our hands, the viruses and other germs can be um, mechanically uh, wash away. So, maano naman kaya po na sila. Then, also, using soap, I've read, it's because of the protein na components sa virus. Kung magamit ang soap, or naiuban nga nga dili soap, kada ba itong bulak, foam, wash, mag-breakdown sa molecules sa protein, the virus, mamatay siya kung mag-wash. That's the rationale. Nanong i-wash na to siya hands, ay, hands, wash na to siya with soap. Nga mubula, importante ang mubula or anything, kanang foamy products because it will break down the protein of the virus. So the virus will be killed and ma-wash siya sa mechanical action of the water. So take a shower or bath. So very practical when we are outside. So before entering our house, especially now, remove all our clothes and take a shower or bath. So, kay basin upan mangon kay mamilit sa mga sinina sa itong mga buhok. So, before entering, maligo ta. So, kaduha na ta maligo. Kay meron, gikan sa balay, huwag pagpaole, especially at this time. Of course, change clothes when going home. Okay? That is very common sense. Kung pagmulit na sa balay, the clothes nga itong giwear outside, ato dyan na siyang ibutang sa gawas and we change clothes kung naanap na sa itong panimalay. Then, still on sweeping, maintain a sanitary workplace. So, have you seen in the illustration, na isa din na isog kaayo, your mother does not work here. No? It's your job to clean up and tidy up as you go. So, everyone is a janitor. Maintain a sanitary, of course, dili, man, wala matingali tao nga ganahan kung kukaw ang iyang workplace. So, as mentioned, everyone is a janitor in our workplace. And, Sanitary, of course, no? Pugaw, dilitaganahan. So, cleanliness is next to godliness. Then, okay, this illustration, I mean, I mentioned naman na to, it's also part of waste segregation, but this time, provide hazardous waste segregation. So, 
same gya pang gani ha ha waste segregation but hazardous material should be uh, uh, separated no dili siya pare dili siya iuban nato sa bio or non bio but hazardous and highly infectious na mga waste materials na siya special container for that so these are the sweep practices so nate checklist no Simple ka ni. So, natin mga pangutanang, uh, are the floor surfaces dirty? Go, check ba na to? Are the desks, chairs, cabinet shelves, built-in boards, office machines, and tools dirty? Go ba? Check ni mo. Or, then, are the wires and cables dirty? So, and yung mga cables o mga wiring din ha? Go ba? Kinahanglan ba na to na iset? Eh, simba ko kung ma, kuan mo, masapid tamp. So, these are some of the checklists na pwede na pagbukakan. Okay? We can adapt these practices. Okay? Again, disinfection of the following. The floors, the walkways, the ceiling, the table, and frequently touched objects. So, same kanina, no? Doorknobs, mga railings, nasa stairways must be cleaned or disinfect regularly. Okay? Na na to sa 4S. Mga hapit na matingali kung mahuman. So, maybe I can finish this slide, uh, this presentation earlier kaysa, kaysa 11. So, 11 is the maximum time. So, na pa sa 4. So, 7. So, hapit na pa. So, 4 is standardized. Maintain a high standard of good housekeeping. Okay? Ang first three, they, these are all actions. Ang 4 is now becoming a culture. It's because you have to apply ang first three din hi sa four. So, na naman kay sorting, na naman kay systematizing and sweeping. Pag abot sa four, imo na na siyang i-maintain. So, din hi na medyo ang challenge ang pagsugod sa standardize. Okay? Since nga na na tayo mga na-identify ng materials, karon, Ang um, number one is sorting, right? Na nakay na sort. And second, systematize. So meaning arrange things in proper order. So imo na siyang gisulo. Then ang um, systematizing, did you remember this? Ang um, labeling is part of second S. Then after that is cleaning. So karo, nakita na nato nga, na na siya, nakabutang na siya, mo na na standard. So maintain an organized storage. So, Kini, um, ato mga things and um, ato mga things sa offices. So, pag maintain na nato, ginha na nato na siya, uh, ma-practice ang first three na S. So, but it could be a, kwan ha, dapat continue, dihapan continuous improvement. Okay? So, standard cleaning schedule. Na naman kay mga things. So, ato nang i-pursue na na-set na mo. But now, you have to maintain it. So, nakakita pag, um, Facility cleaning schedule. So, naratay listahan ka ron, no? Kung uh, ah, ang item na itong gina-clean. Kung katong ang mga items na naka-display na ito ba ba itong pabayaan, kaya maabog mong gihapon ko siya. So, pag continue and ha, so clean, gihapon na ito regularly. So, naiuban niya. Example, gipakita ng cleaning, ang ceiling, so monthly siya ginalipyuhan. Na, mga walls, monthly, no? mga furniture, monthly, grease, every two months. So, Tahon ang company, mahitabo na nga, kamo na ang mag-design as to the scheduling sa pag-clean. Because some things, no, inahanglan dyan, i-clean mo siya daily. Na yung i-clean mo every two hours, o ba, weekly, monthly, every two months, and uh, so on and so forth. So, kamo na ang mag-design. Which things na kinahanglan o cleaning. So, as to the scheduling, it's up for the management or for the company to design. Then, some standard practices, standard visual signages. So, mga signages like for this, no, no entry, authorized personnel only. So, uh, put um, cautionary and directional sign. It's part of the standard uh, practice. Then, what else? Natay SOP, oh, standard operating procedure for work instruction. So, this is just an example sa SOP, sa standard opera operation sheet, usually for manufacturing or production. So, na din ha, okay? Remove parts from tools, okay? Remove spiking frame from the upper tool. So, 
uh, this is just an uh, example of the standard working instruction sa na pwede na to ma-adapt in our operations. Next, again, visual controls. Na uh, naman po ni Gani, ha? So, this is very you know, common for us. The standard practice for safety. So, mukha na po niya siyang nabalik because we have Gani, ha, previous slide showing also uh, visual signs for safety. So, ako ka niya siyang i-run through mga example lang, illustrations. So, again, this one. Fire, fire exit, no smoking. So these are the standard signages. Follow safety procedures and be aware of hazards. Then, standardized uh, practices again is ensure, okay, kinisha, ensure to lift the load you can carry. This is for safety. The illustration nga nakita ni mo nga ni bend ang lalaki so pwede siya magsimba ko mabali ang yan lipod no spinal cord so part ya kun sa safety practices na uban kay magpantag na push cart or na cart na pwede na to dito or ban sa mga da comparison they have forklift sa mga heavy na nga mga objects so they avoid man ang uh, pag uh, sa taong pag bend <coughs> excuse me Okay, the correct is a squatting or bending at the knees, not your waist. Or tuck your chin while your <coughs> back as vertical as possible. Okay. Sorry for that. <clears throat> okay, here, um, sorry for that. Huh? <clears throat> Let me continue. Mm -hmm. On standardized steel, keep chemicals safety data records. For this example, yes, uh, you have seen Na siya ay uh, sign and na siya ay hazard statement. Like for example is flammable or it can cause skin irritation and or na tayong mga signs. Um, simba ko no kung di ba sa workplace area na matay safety officer. So, makabaluta sa mga procedures just in case na may hitabo ng emergency and may mga chemicals, harmful chemicals na maswalo or even mabutang sa itong mga mata. Ang um, safety officer nga gidesignate na to magdepende as to the number of risk kay na mga establishment nga considered na low risk, moderate or high risk. So they are trained under the Bosch to respond to this kind of emergency situation. Okay, safety PPE standard that's for this picture no hard hat, safety glasses, respiratory equipment and now we are using face shield as part of the PPE no wearing a mask, safety gloves, reflective clothing. Um, now, um, speaking of this PPE, under the DOLI and DTI interim guidelines, uh, the company must designate an isolated area or place. I simba ko during the time of work, na ay mahitabo nga, like ni hilanat ang, or ni taas ang temperature sa atong ang mga uh, kauban sa trabaho. But it does not mean nagi COVID sila. But, for protection purposes and for safety, they must be isolated to that area. Then, nakabutang sa rules, nakatung safety officer na mag-attend ato nga person, maka-full gear siya, makasuot siya ang PPE. So, uh, meaning ato mga establishments, um, you are encouraged na at least na siguro, no, one or two sets of PPE for your designated safety officer available na sa ato mga work area kay just in case na emergency situation na maghilanat so kung mag-attend mo sa iya or anything and yung in-need is uh, makasuot mo PPE sa iya. So, mao mo na nakabutang sa rules. So, okay. Karon, no? Mga PPE na to. Gloves, goggles, face shields. N95 mask or surgical mask will do. O ba galing cloth mask? But recently, we've read na katong mga mask nito nga na-evolve uh, they are not safe for the reason that they only filtered 
sa mga air nga you breathe in but it does not filter sa mga air nga you breathe out. So it's not safe for the others and even discourage to use mask with balm. So gown. So mao sigur ni ato mga PPE nga i down. Proper PPE for health workers, not just for health workers, but for your designated safety officers in place. Okay, so mag sila like PPE when we attempt to someone and I problem uh, sa inyong workplace na ibutang nato sa designated isolation area. So, upon inspection, pangitaon ng inyo ha. So, karon palang daan kung wala pa mo na agian sa Dolly DTI and inspection, prepare na daan your isolation areas and the PPE to be used by your designated safety officer. Okay? Another is establish and implement the standard safety and health protocol. This is in line again with all EDTI and interim guidelines. Uh, there will be a separate webinar session on that, detailing the steps on that. Sa amo magod nga seven is na incorporate lang namo on safety. And now, of course, no, before entering wearing of masks, and you are required to accomplish the daily health symptoms questionnaire. So, tanan ba natong mga kuanin he, mga companies nga nag-attend? Did you, Puana, did you already implement this sa daily health questions na to? Like, for example, nga atong eh, mga visitors nga muanha and the guests. So, nasa like checklist. So, mga question dito, nabas like sore throat, pananakit ng katawan, um, and nagato ba sila sa mga area nga uh, nag-travel ba sila recently. So, mag-answer na sila yes or no, of course. And, kuhaan pa ang daily temperature. So, the daily temperature na reviews entry is 37.6. Okay? If ang temperature is 37.5, ipa-rest na siya. Kaya basig init lang siya sa gawas. If mag-register again after 5 minutes, 37.6 or higher. So, ibutang dito nga. Pwede siya ibutang lang sa uh, holding area. Or pwede siya, dilisan na to siya pasudlon. No? Diba? Muna yung purpose na nung the thermal scan pa sa atong temperature. So, check temperature contact less. Then, provision of alcohol and sanitizers. This is very common. Then, within your workplace, uh, you can use gloves. Of course, wearing of masks. Soaps and sanitizers available in those areas. One meter physical distance in workstations. And eating in communal area or pantry is discouraged. So, but ang questions then he under also ang nga guidelines is tana mga PPEs, disinfectants, and the cost of it must be shouldered by the employer. So, moving on. So, how can I protect myself from COVID-19? So, this is a timely advisory to all of us. No, we create a guide for proper hand washing. Maybe you can post this one, a picture like this. Sa lugar ninyo nga pwede mo magwash sa 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 mga uh, pantry area or uh, sa mga designated areas in your company. No, pudluan magyapon to sa proper hand washing that it must be at least twenty seconds. So I mentioned earlier, the viruses can be washed out. By the mechanical action of the water and um, soap or um, foam, it can break down the proteins in the virus. The five, no? self discipline. So, one ni isa sa gyapon sa pinakalisod. Because Filipinos, um, known pa down, no? Wala tay self discipline, unlike the Japanese. I don't know if that notion is still true. Or if tinood no na uban so di na to ikalikay because sa tinood lang sa Japan I mean sa Japanese sa ilahang 5S self discipline there is not included. Wala nila gibutang ang self discipline there. Why? Because sa ilah sa Japanese self discipline is innate. Meaning hindi na kinahanglan iingon kaya na ano sa ilang culture and even in the system. But when we import this technology sa Philippines mo atong giadapt we put sa ika lima nga S nga self-discipline. Sa ato pa ni siya. So, always reminding ourselves sa riling kusa. So, kasi pasambutan na, we do things spontaneously without being told or ordered. So, buhato na to, nga dili na ta kinahanglan every mind. So, self-discipline is very hard. So, kinahanglan na to i-instill. That's why i-include na to sa ato ang 5S. But in the original 5S in the Japanese, self-discipline there is not included. Okay? Self-discipline practice. Practice for us wherever you are. So, katong first na itong na suriin, segregation, 
uh, sorry and sorry, systematized sweeping and standardized you practice. So, katong upat kung imo tong buhaton, di mahimo na to siyang ikalima nga self-discipline. So, this is just one way. So, it's usually sa mga parks, di ba? Kung naay mga gathering, sa una, sa large crowd, the problem with the government after is daghan kaayo ang mga basura because we do not clean on our own. Ato lang ikalak. So, we are encouraged na ilimpyuhan na to or kung dili ka makalimpyuhan na to sa basurahan ang atong mga kala. Okay? And now, there are self-discipline practices. Observe proper office decorum, wear the proper attire or uniform, and be professional. This is part of the self-discipline practice. No? Proper decorum, proper courtesy in the office, proper attire when needed, and be professional. So this is just uh, ways on how to uh, practice self-discipline. And then, always keep your workplace clean and tidy. So this is really the essence of the 7S of good housekeeping. Okay, put things back in your proper place after use. So, napanawa naman po kanina nga, there are many ways naman, no, in how to put things back in order. Kung asa na po siya, ibalik na po siya. Okay, for also others nga, mangita, hindi po nisod para sa ila. Then, follow safety rules. So, na yung mga companies na to, no, nga, gabutang kidan yung mga safety, no drinking, no smoking, no cursing, no loitering, no aborting, and no arguing. So, na yung mga safety rules to be followed. So, this is also part of the safe, I mean, self-discipline. Then, follow strictly the dos and don'ts, no? Beware of the hazards that might happen. So, in the illustration, so, iyan, gipatungan, no? Say wrong, then, ha? Wa siya gagamit og ladder or hagdanan. So, gapatong siya na siya'y possibility na matumba or matuwang. So, in the second illustration, no? Simple ga, kwan siya ladder, that is, heavy duty ladder used for that purpose. Okay, malikaya na to accident if we follow safety rules. Then, now, self-discipline practice incorporating COVID follow strictly the minimum health protocols as we all know, balik-balik naman siguro na, no? Wash your hands, you know? Observe social distancing, wearing a face mask, sanitize regularly. So, self-discipline, follow strictly. Okay, sa kahon nga time, we do not know when the virus, unless anyway, this crisis will be over and the vaccine will be released because we are still in the trial stage. So maybe next year, or we do not know until when, but until nga naapa na ang public health crisis, we must strictly follow health protocols. Okay, remember, the goal of this year is to survive. Maudili lang ingon. The goal of this year is to survive. Okay, self-discipline. Do not smoke and spit in public or work areas, of course. Okay. Follow cough etiquette. Sorry, ganihan, no, kay, baka kong natukan, but, but I have this, man, no, you cover your mouth with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, you cover your nose and mouth or sleeve kung wala, then put tissue in the waste basket, wash your hands and soap after sneezing, or when carrying the sick, or clean them with alcohol-based rub if soap and water are not available. But the best still is soap and water. Kung wala, pwede natin mga alcohol or san, uh, hand sanitizers. Okay? Last, ikaunom na, continue uh, 7S in order to achieve results. Sustain. So, sa Tagalog, si Kaping panatilihin sa Bisaya and he ato ning uh, palahutay, no? Sustain. So, Atong first, uh, first S up to ika 5S mauna yung buhato ni mo sa sustain na portion. So mauna yung pinakalisod because this has been a challenge dili lang sa uban but kasadaghanan on how to sustain. So how to continue. Kaya usay malimpa na nato no? the 7S activities to achieve good results. Okay? These are some of the practices. You monitor and implement the 7S implementation. So, kung naan na mo dito, nagsugod na mo, so, kinahang lang pag na-i audit or na-i inspection. So, ang isa po din he is, there must be a team, okay, pwede mo mag-himog team or committee to evaluate 
to implementation of the 7S. Some companies may even give incentives to the department or to itong mga uh, areas na ilang tanaw, so magpa-contest na sila. So na uban is uh, random inspection or uban announced inspection, so mas maayo kung random. So mag-announce sila kung kinsa itong uh, 7S na department na na-maintain and they will help apply. So that's part also of the monitoring and implementation. Then, we keep and display necessary 7S documents. So, all a uh, reminder to all of us. So, pwede tayo mag-post o mga ingon-anin ng mga signages, no? continuous improvement, you know, per operation. So, makit-anin mo dito ang mga uh, necessary uh, mga uh, reminders on 7S. So, naiuban dito nga magbutang pa dyan na sila mga stickers, no? reminders to observe uh, 7S of good housekeeping in the workplace. And, document before and after improvement so it is good this if we will uh you will take a picture of before and after okay, before medyo kalak pa then after the implementation of 7s is makita na nimo after so for us to compare because ingon sila you cannot measure something kung uh, kung nag improve ka without measuring it or without documenting okay the 7s actually it's very uh, physical and visual dali ani mo makita ang imo improvements sa documentation kaya you have to take picture the before and the after para ma-appreciate nimo ang imo improvement in uh sa tawag ko implement the 7s okay another is do company wide awareness some even they launch the program sa 7s in your workplace no launching of the 7s the established teams or committee and the cert be trained the certified and reward so the company wide launching then uh, implementation and creating of the committee to evaluate then at the end there is a reward and recognition that is um gina tuyo na siya for employees na ma motivate to participate in the program kay usahay magud kung ang mga employees wala sila ma earn something in return no so mahitabo din ha bay lang sila sa first s sa ikaduha ay katulo dili na but if there is something at the end of the uh, year na ilang makuha, bisa gamay lang because the incentives here is not necessary cash. It could be monetary or non-monetary such as gift certificates, uh, mga uh, uban galing bodo fight, uban lack of recognition, pwede ka siya. So, ang aim is to motivate employees' behavior to participate in any productivity improvement program na gina-implement sa company. Okay? So safety, so again, na mention naman, designate a safety team. No? Assign safety officer, it is also needed now. Kinahanglan mo may safety officer for this COVID-19 inspection pangitaan. Kung wala mo, you can designate one. So even sa OSH, so it depends on the level, level of risk, low, moderate, or high, depending on number of safety officers. Then, Train employees and educate. Of course, important is that that's part of it. You train and educate employees on the basic of workplace safety. You check and audit and another is to check and audit safety and health practices. Part of the duty as a safety officer, kahon, na designate the news to COVID nineteen as safety of one is to check. If the minimum health standards are being implemented, so nasa role and ha, so to mga health check na daily. The accomplishment of the health check form is daily, both visitors and workers in the workplace. Ano ng daily man? It's because simba kung nasa git check na to nga yes, kaya mano man to din nasa yes then. Kabalo man tang incubation period is 14, so makuhaan niyo kung ano sa siya gasugod ito. And we must be very, ano, kanang truthful in answering those questions. Kaya e panahon niyo tao nga mag-no-no ka, then yes na di ay, dili aman ikaw mag-suffer and all of your workmates and the family of your workmates and eventually, the community will suffer. Kita mga good, hindi na tumalikayan nga na stigma man, sakit na ang source of no, di ba? Dili man pasabot na magsakit is kung mag-yes ka na ito is to isolate na ka. No, that is just a health check na pwede ni mo mag-guide. Okay, we must be truthful in answering that. Because I've seen isa ka restaurant, pag abot na ko dito, igo na lang kumuperma sa health check, naka-check na ka ng agno. Okay, iya ila siguro mong ibuhat is dali na bitaw kay kada musulod so dili. Individual, yun na siya nga self-checking assessment. 
okay? Investigate accidents and maintain records. So, this is in relation, no? Simba ko kung na mga persons who are injured or simba ko namatay in the course of employment or work-related, you need to maintain a record or logbook. I discussed it further by the ECC for them to claim the insur uh, insurance no, under the in, uh, com uh, Employees Compensation Commission that is separate and distinct from the benefit na ihapag sa SSS. So kung work-related injury, nakita mo siguro mo sa mga video, pwede makaklaim mo sa ECC. Then you need to maintain a record or logbook kahit pangitaon siya as one of the requirements. Okay, moving on. Nanakas pinaka-last, safety. Safety and sustain, these are the new two S na addition. Safety, siguraduhin ang kaligtasan. So, very, ano man siya, common sense na maintain a safe and healthy workplace. Okay. Additional safety practices, make sure that employees know the emergency equipment is and what to do. Sa mga safety officer, natay mga fire extinguisher, I'm sure they are trained on how to do it. Like first aid, I know how to do, how to conduct CPR. O, di ba, kung may mga emergency din ha, ang mga pong safety officer, o, wag ka balok, unsay, buhaton, the basic first aid to respond to these emergencies. Okay? Additional info, clear, uh, as it tawad na, issue clear instructions so employees to avoid accidents. Important din eh, ang mga safety in instructions, paklaro, so dili siya susceptible of doubtful interpretations at least clear and categorical ang mga instructions to avoid accidents, no? Or yet, employees on safety and health policy. Then, point out hazard. So, these are the signs again. Mga makita ninyo, nga nakita ninyo sa previous slides. Very of hard hats, no? Something is in danger. Put protection required in area. This is part also of the safety practices. Okay? To sum up, the 7S contributes to a healthy and safe workplace because this is this uh, proven correlation between safety and workers' productivity. So, ang mga beneficial to 7S is elimination of hazards, clean and comfortable workplace, improve employee morale and well-being, enhance company image, and improve enterprise and workers' productivity. So, 7S is everyone's responsibility and it's a key to a safe workplace. So, happy na kung mag-end but don't worry, there are still questions na akong i-throw. Okay, katong mga wala naka-tuba, ganiha, or naunahan, okay, dapat ano na siya, pa, faster siya mag-type. So, still, there are um, questions, sige, hapon niya akong ma-flush along the way to give chance to others na wala nag-answer. Well, kung na yung mahitabo, nga kaduka, dito siya nga naka-answer fast, I mean, then, um, ang rule na to is maybe we give chance to others, no? Para mahatagan po ng chance ang kuban. Kas aras siya dapat, um, si Tau, na winner na siya, kas aras na to siya dapat hatagan. Okay? Moving on. Okay, I think what is uh, the uh, 7S of housekeeping in proper order? Na-mention naman ako, na-end na. So, A, unsa ang proper order? What's the correct? So, 7S of good housekeeping. To put it in the proper order. On sa may meaning of them. Letter A ba? Sorting, systematize, sweep, sustain, standardize, self-discipline, safety. Letter B. No? Bahad na sig maglibog mo. So, dapat in yung itong na note. Gani ha, no? Sort, systematize, sweep, standardize, self-discipline, Sustain safety. So, kabal na kambal kambal ka ni. And letter C, baka ha. Sort, sweep, systematize, standardize, self-discipline, safety, then sustain. So, I will give you a few seconds to answer because the time is already 10.30. Sakto sakto lang because we still have 30 minutes for your questions. Okay. Na ano tay winner. Okay, so fast. Na ano tay mga winners and hino ako nis lang tigumon because I'll be the one giving you your prizes. Okay, the correct answer is oh, namate jud si ma'am. B. Sort, systematize, sweep, standardize, self discipline, sustain and safety. We have a winner already. Ang pangalans is si ma'am 
our sister, baka ni Amihan P. Abraham. Okay, congratulations, sir. We will be contacting you later for your load. Ang answer niya is B. Okay, thank you so much, ha. Kaya na yun na participate, so na anak ko yung mga ikalima nga winner. Okay, so daghan kayong salamat. I think we still have questions, more questions. Let me flash it on the screen. Okay, para lingaw niya atong um, uh, discussion for now. Okay. Kini nga question, you may please chat in sa inbox your answer. This is, I think, the last question, okay? Um, based on the discussion of the 7S, please, so duha siya ka answer actually, no? Please identify an area for improvement in your company relative to the implementation of 7S of good housekeeping. So, um, pwede mo maki-answer din like may mo ang production area or a marketing area. Kinahanglan siguro na mo apply ng 7S. So, area for improvement. So, it could be a department in your company na inyong tanaw is kailangan na ito i-apply ang 7S of good housekeeping. Then, second question, what are the activities? So, yun yun, multiple answers maghihapon, no? To be undertaken to address the identified area for improvement. Okay? Pwede ninyo i-answer ninyo. For example, production area, ang ang uh, activities is number one, you need to have a meeting. So, medyo tas taas at tumansar din, hey, no? Nabatay meeting pag mo on. Then, uh, second, matong activities na tumbuhaton is uh, ato silang kuan. Pwede mo mo nga mag-request mo plant level training for RTWPB to teach the basic of the 7S of good housekeeping. As simple as that, no? Okay, so... Uh, okay, what are the activities na kinahala na to i-undertake to identify area for improvement? So, you can chat in your answer there. If na na um, um, maka-chat, oh, there is no wrong and right for this um, portion. There is no wrong or right answer. It's up to you. So, if you can give me a um, series of activities and complete, then you will also receive a 100 pesos worth of electronic um, e-load for this. So, kini medyo taas taas. So, maybe I will be giving, siguro, kira ba kong mga around uh, two minutes for this to answer? Or, okay. okay. So, I would also recognize the presence of our director, NWPC Executive Director, uh, Maria Cresilda RC. Uh, I know, Mom, you are watching now. And also, um, because we are um, live in Facebook, so as of now, there are 7,998 number of people rich and 64 number of shares. So, sa mga parents of Facebook, we cannot identify you one by one on that, but we want to thank you, uh, magpasalamat me, for joining us uh, the, the second of the five sessions. So, there's still a lot more to expect from the Dolitan Convergence team. So, after my presentation, there will be another one uh, on August 3. So, I hope stay tuned lang and uh, you will learn something from us today and the um, series to come. So uh, I hope madili mo magsawa to register again because the topics that we are giving and delivering are very interesting and could be of great help sa inyo. Okay, na na ba nakatubang? Because there is no wrong and right answer. I'll be waiting for the queue and this will be the last. Okay. Okay, and before that, uh, uh, we would like to invite, no? We would like, uh, while waiting for the uh, the winner, no, for that, we'd like to invite everyone. So, Takon Akong Gidiscuss is only one of the productivity modules, and we have a lot of the uh, other productivity modules under our ladderized toolbox, no? We have Productivity 101. This is just a orientation of the basic concepts of productivity. That's Productivity 101. And second, Steve Values. Steve Values is more on the HR intervention on the attributes or values of uh, good workers. Steve stands for 
I uh, industrious, systematic, letter S, time conscious, innovative, and strong value for work. So not I see value. So more on HR intervention, what are the attributes of a good worker? So you this this uh modules might interest you and you can call us uh, para sa training that is for free. And now, Maria Kongi discuss now the 7S of Good Housekeeping. Another module is Steve Bayanihan. This module is for micro uh, businesses only. We talk about stock control, um, basic accounting, and bookkeeping for micro. So, for mga micro, um, pasabot na one to nine uh, business establishments lang na siya. Um, Walay accounting in place. Steve in business, I know, is a combination of graded uh, version of Steve values. We talk about joint problem solving, optimizing the use of resources. So, nandin is Steve values, ways and how to succeed in your business. Then, green enterprise, okay? Green enterprise is... Um, Green, my enterprise is more on uh, talking about doing business at the same time protecting the environment. We will learn about climate change, waste segregation. So, uh, basically, the module is about doing business at the same time protecting the environment. Service quality, this is good for hotels and restaurants and how to do error-free service. And to recover an error in case one has been made. So, this is suitable for hotels and restaurants. For retail merchandising, this is suitable also for for establishments engaged no? in this in selling because we will be talking about the selling process on, on this no. So the display the first in first out. So this is good sa mga tindahan na to, ang mga retail merchandising. Ang lean management for manufacturing and also services because this is already applicable not doing more with less it's about waste elimination we will learn about how to eliminate waste identify the waste in the workplace we will learn about team modes not in lane management and last up we have social media marketing uh, we'll be teaching you on how to advertise or to post your products online I will be optimizing the use of the digital platform this way. So, kung namoy FB, namoy Instagram, pwede mo mamaligya din how to market your product. So, basically, these are our modules. So, later on, akong ikon on how to contact us on how to apply for a productivity training. Okay, naman di atay winner for our last question. Si Mr. Richie Musa, no? Ang iyahang area na identify for improvement is the warehouse nila. So, in hanglan dito niya i-implement ang iyang warehouse. Kaya ang warehouse, lagan siyang mga things na makita, na maka-implement of 7S. Number one is they will conduct a meeting no, for all the personnel on what to do sa ilang warehouse. Then second is apply for a training, maybe a plant level training in which we can teach them no, sa plant level on the basic steps in a workplace organization. So, thank you so much, no, siya ang atong ika number six na winner, okay? So, well, rest assured that we will be giving you our promise na load. So, we will be contacting you later. I think this is our presentation. Uh, everyone, I want to say thank you for listening, no, for this one and a half hour webinar. And, um, you can reach our um, email address, uh, okay, EMA, uh, no, that's a website, www.nwpc.dolly.gov.ph, in which you can electronically apply for our productivity tools. You can see there, sa among website, e-apply. So you just click there, then you choose the module. There's a description of the module there. You choose the module that suits to your needs. Or you can directly email us for any concern or training, request for training. Our email address, you can reach us at rtwpb10 or x at gmail.com or call us at 8825310. Uh, uh, we are located at the second floor, Trinidad Building, Corrales, Yacapin Streets, Cagayan de Oro City. Or please like our Facebook and follow our FB page, the Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Board of Region 10. I hope you learned something from us today. We hope still to see you in the future for uh, future sessions. And I think this is the time for our open forum. We have a few minutes left. If there are questions that you ask, then we'll be willing to answer for this. Moderator, please.
Thank you, Attorney Wallag, for, for your informative and instructive presentation in 7S of the Good Green Forum to answer your questions or clarifications. Let me remind you, our participants, to kindly throw your questions in the chat box with your name and company that you are representing. And please mute your microphones. Thank you. Attorney Walag, our first question is from Ms. Ms. Belga Velez. Attorney Walag, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I can hear you. So, yes, uh, I already saw the question flash and screen. Nay uh, Nangotana from Belga Velez uh, asking Are all trainings online based? Okay. So, as of the present, um, we are implementing a, a mix, actually. No? As of now, we are implementing a limited phys uh, physical training in our office, but we can only accommodate as many as five participants, maximum of five, because we are observing social distancing at the moment. Then, of the training, if more than five, okay, more than five, we can do it online, okay? We can have it online if they wish. So, kung gusto po nila nga to report physically at our office, this pwede sila, but only a maximum of five. Online, we can do it. So, actually, it's a combination. So, pwede ka na to na ma masabutan, ma Belga, if you want na training request, if you can do it online, or physical limited lang ang training. Actually, it's a combination so at your choice, ma. So kung mag-conduct ng training, pwede mahitabo nga online, pwede po physical distancing. But limited only up to five maximum participants. Okay? Thank you. I hope na-answer na ko ang inyong questions. Thank you, attorney. Our que second question came from Jeremiel Malimbana Asira. Sa mga bake shop, sir, needed pa ba gihapon ng daily health symptoms, questionnaires, o ng pag-check sa temperature sa customers? Yes. The answer to that is definitely yes. Because ang pag-check sa itong health symptoms does not exempt any establishment. So, pasabutan na sir, tanang establishments, no? whether ma-bake shop man or bisa kung sa establishments, they require gihapon ang pag-check sa itong daily health uh, symptoms questionnaire. So the answer to that, sir, is yes. Thank you, Attorney Walag. From First Valley Bank, is there a standard template to use the daily health symptoms questionnaire? Yes, that, uh, the answer to that is yes. Under the Dole Interim Guidelines, so attached to, there was an annex attached to that uh, guideline. There is a template, and we can email to you, no? Sa tanang mga na-participate, and in case wala pa mo template and how to, uh, unsay mga nakabutang, this is, uh, there is a standard template for the daily health uh, symptom questionnaire. We can give it to all the participants via email. Thank you, attorney. Another question, is productivity training for free? Yes, the answer to that also is yes. Uh, the services of RTWPB and the delivery of producti productivity training modules, they are for free, definitely for free. Walay bayaran na siya, no? All they have to do is to contact us or they can apply to us through our website on the e-apply toolbox because online, apply, uh, they can apply it through online and they have to fill out the information and there will be an email notifying the regional board of the specific training module of Kinsana Company or else they can call us or directly email to us then this are for free, wala bayaran ang atong libre nga productivity training. Thank you, attorney. Pwede uh, both plant level ang Training, attorney? Yes, sure. Pwede. We can conduct plant level training. So, pwede to. You can visit uh, uh, sa mga enterprise, but as of this time, if ever na request for plant level, ang uh, amo lang ihang yun sa RTWPB, please, um, uh, we must exercise caution and the company that applying to us must exercise, uh, must implement the basic health protocols. Kung mahimo, dili lang kaayo daghan ang 
ang mga tao. So, we observe uh, social distancing, temperature check. We can do that now. But, ako ihang yun is dili lang yun anak kadaghan. Just like, unlike before, kung wala pa'y COVID, we can do it. But now, uh, na natin mga minimum na number of persons nga matrained na to sa plant level. But, dili lang yun yung mga, mga daghan na. Maybe not more than kuanjod, not more than eight, siguro ang pwede makatan if that would be a plant level trend. Thank you, attorney. Uh, we have from Unitap. Kagaya sa amin ma, maraming customer araw-araw. Kailan pa ba namin silang lahat punan ng information or details? We do not get their temperature already before they get inside. Provide alcohols for them. Okay, so, but under the interim guidelines of the DTI, uh, DOLE and the TIJ interim guidance, it is really required for all the customers to get the temperature, no? Diba? Na thermal scanner and uh, accomplish the daily health questionnaire. I think as of now, there's no uh, exemption as of that because um, it was implemented precisely to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in the workplace. So, Mag-assign din silang person, di ba, to, to check the temperature and uh, ipa-assign sila, uh, ipa-accomplish ang daily health questionnaire. Because nakabutang na, that's all for the visitors and guests. Visitor, guests, and employees of the establishment. So, I think we need to follow that one. So, maybe I may be entertaining uh, last question, assist because we're running out of time. Happy na to my end. Okay, only last question, if ever. Na pa'y mga uh, ipang pangutan na, last na lang. Okay. From Rowena Kiapo, attorney, good EM. Pwede may mga yung advice regarding physical distancing, especially sa nature sa among company, is manufacturing truck curl materials. Okay, again, uh, the ideal um, distance are physical or social distancing at least one meter apart. No, that's the standard. Pinaka minimum ng one meter apart. If they choose siyang more than one meter ang ilang social distancing, then that would be all right because the minimum um, physical distancing requirement is to maintain a space of at least one meter. So, mauna siya if they, kung gusto sila two meters apart, then that would be okay. At least na minimum na one meter ng social or physical distancing. Okay, I hope I um, answer your question squarely. Kung na mga pangutana, uh, I think that would be the last question. Pwede pa po bang humabol, attorney? Meron pang last question. Okay, yes. From yes. AM, AMN Industrial Sales and General Contractor. Uh, where to pass the daily health form every month? Okay, the daily health form, no, you just keep keep that record, no? Okay, as of now, um, the establishment has to keep that record for contract tracing just in case any of the employee may develop symptoms. So, okay, can, uh, mag, the establishment has to keep that. Uh, the duration of which is we do not know yet when. You just keep a record of that because that will be... be very useful in case na simba ko or na ah, for contact tracing. That health form is need not to be, I think, passed with Dolly. Mukhang hindi na kailangan nga isubmit na sa Dolly. Pero kailangan na during the time na mag-inspection ng Dolly, pangitaon na. The company has to keep that. Kaya ka na niya pong pangitaon by the time nga na contact tracing gikan sa DOH. I think no need to pass to Dolly. The company has to keep that. So, um, among gihimo, if diba, daily is sama na paper, maybe you can reduce that for a weekly form. Um, diba na gihimo like in our office na daily mang gihapon ni even in our office, we have that daily health check questionnaire and we keep that in the folder for each of the uh, employees. So, ato lang dyan na haguan sa pagkakaroon, kikailangan mo na this time. So, no need, I think, to pass to Dolly. Wala ko ma-remember nga i-submit siya sa Dolly. But kailangan siya the time eh, mag-inspect ang Dolly kung ka-fill out ba muna ng daily health questionnaire. Okay? Okay. I think that could be the end of our open forum. Thank you sa mga participants nga nag-questions.
This ends our second webinar session on 7S of Good Housekeeping. Please do not forget to accomplish the feedback form with link provided in your chat box. I think before we finally end, we will request everyone to answer the survey on productivity improvement program. This survey intended to understand the productivity and gain sharing practices of enterprises and to align its existing productivity advocacy and training programs to the needs of the enterprise. The link is provided in the chat box. We hope that you have additional knowledge from the discussions today. We are again inviting you to participate our third session on August 3, 2020. That topic is about workplace safety and ECC updates. Thank you once again. Keep safe and see you in our future webinars. Thank you very much, Sess. Again, reminding everyone for our third session, no? Okay, lima maneso. Napate third session. Again, reminding everyone to um, register on our third session on August 3. On Monday, that's already 9 to 11 a.m. The topic is Kamustahan, Workplace Safety, and ECC Update by OSH and PCC. For registration and other details, please visit the Pan Labor and Employment Service page at www.facebook.com.dolipan.x. Please, not L E C. So, again, thank you everyone for joining our webinar. We hope you have learned something as today. Then, I also would like to express our special thanks to regional um, RCMB, you know, the Regional Conciliation and Mediation Board, and especially to our director, Attorney Ligaya uh, Lumbay, for providing uh, a space for the Zoom um, uh, webinar you know, and access. Also, the entire Dolly Pen webinar series. So, this is in convergence with um, ECC, RTWPB, Dolly Pen, and NCMB. We hope to see you in the future. And again, thank you so much. And God bless and keep safe, everyone. Thank you. So